know, to, to, to trying to get to where you are now? Um, where you're from? Not necessarily. Like, I know you moved to New York, which probably helped. Yeah. I wasn't like, man, I'm from Fayetteville. This is a disadvantage. It was more like I saw what it was. Right. I saw that the reality was that it was hard to get on. Right. From Fayetteville because I seen my mentors who, to me, were the best. Like, mm-hmm. they were the best in my eyes. I like, man, if they can't get on, I'm no good here. I got to go there right. and shine in front of, you know, in my eyes, I had been shining everywhere I went rap-wise, so if I went to New York, it wouldn't be no different. Yeah, yeah, being from, uh, from you know, North Carolina was, um, I know Drake's a big Little Brother fan, you know, was, was Little Brother a, a big, you know, artist for you? Yeah, really you know what, when Little Brother hit the scene, I was already about 18 years old, headed to college, Right. when they first dropped the listening, um, and that was still big for me because to see anybody from your state in double XL, yeah, exactly. they was in double XL. Right. They had a great rating on their album, so to see that gave me so much motivation. And I went and did some beat battles up in Raleigh and uh, Chapel Hill, or whatever. Ninth Wonder was DJing, Fonte was there, so just seeing that as a little as a little eighteen year old was more motivation. Like man, see, right? And, you know what, and what a lot of people don't know is that you make you make beats. You're a producer. Yes, you know, were, you, were you a producer first? No, I was a rapper first. Rapper from twelve. And then once I couldn't find nothing to rap on other than Nas instrumentals and like <laughs> Timbaland instrumentals, right. I was like, man, let me uh, let me start making my own beats. Most definitely. Um, when it comes to like like making beats um, for the album, are you gonna are you gonna handle a lot of it yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Um, if the album was to drop tomorrow, I have about what 80 80 percent of the production. Um, and you know, it's that's just how it's happened so far. And you know, whatever happens, happens. But so far, I got the the strong majority of the production on the album. What, what do you use? Like, what, what tools do you use when you? Right play? now, I'm on. I don't want to give it no free publicity, but shout out to Logic. I use Logic. I started out on the ASR though, the ASR so, X This Pro. is some hip hop geek stuff, right? Now. Yeah, this is hip hop producer so geek stuff. So I started out on the Red Monster, which is the ASR X Pro. Like Kanye uses the ASR 10 and. Right. Uh, Alchemist uses the ASR-10, but I was using the machine. I was more like the MPC, so I was using that. And then I moved to Reason like six years after that, and then just about a year ago, I converted over to Logic just, you know, just for whatever that's, reason. That's what's up, man. And, and what's cool about that, too, is, you know, then you ain't got to pay nobody to, for beats, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, another thing I was going to ask you, man, is there is it possible I had Nas up here uh Maybe like three or four months ago, and he couldn't stop talking about like I like how much he loves your music. Wow! And because uh, I'm a big, Nas, I'm just like Nas. Man. Nas is my dude, man. And uh, I was just wondering, has, has, has there like been any dialogue between you? Because I know you guys, you know, a lot, a lot of people compare you to Nas. Absolutely, which isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's an incredible thing. Um, it's not, you know, it's not even don't even sound right to me because Nas is another stratosphere. But there has been some dialogue when I when I met him and I tried to give him like extra props like I tried to like bow down in his presence of course and he kind of wouldn't let me because he was like man I'm a fan of yours Most which definitely. I was like come on this is crazy like man. no you can't be a, it's impossible yeah. for you to be a fan of mine Most definitely. that doesn't work like that you know that was you know that was kind of what it was I'm man that'd be an amazing uh, collaboration if it ever happened I would man. love to uh, man I'd do a whole album with us, man that would be like Jay and, uh, and Kanye are gonna do the, the, the Watch the Throne yeah once you get up on that left, man, that would be amazing. Yeah. If y'all did like a little six song free EP man, for the internet, I'm winning. I'm winning. Be amazing, whenever, man. whenever Nas is ready, I'm ready. And as far as uh, out the album is concerned, um, I, you, you know, we're talking kind of off there. You keep switching up the album because you know it happens a lot with people's debut albums. Yeah. Um, right now, is there anybody you you can you can talk about being on the album or who you uh, can Nah, like? honestly, I can't. It's like I remember getting this question a year ago to this day, and people ask me like, "Man, any features?" And I was like, "Nah, no, no features." Yeah. Maybe it'll change, and to this date i got more songs and better songs but still no features so. hey props to you man i forgot to bring this up hey man on the looking for trouble you ah. you murdered that that was incredible i man. appreciate that, you man and Thank i you heard very that much. you kind of like it was kind of like on the fly like it was on the fly it. it was on the fly it was a uh, i learned in the past week or so it was like a failure of communication yeah um so when i actually found out kanye called me and was like yo i'm trying to put this out today and you're like, whoa! I'm like, oh man, I didn't know that. All right, well, well let me go. go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you were rapping with Kanye on that song. Uh, who else was on it? Uh, Pusha T. Yep. Pusha. Big Sean. Sai High. Sean. And you, I, not you know, most respect to all of them, but you definitely yeah. murdered it. Uh, thank you very much. I incredible. appreciate that, man. Yes, sir. Now we gonna get you to spit some for us, man, because people who don't know about J Cole, man, this Ooh. is one of my favorite MCs. This dude's so nice right now. I appreciate it. So nice. Let's drop something. I've always wanted... I haven't heard hey. you personally rap over anything off Illmatic. I asked on Twitter. Hey. 
uh, what, what they wanted to hear y'all, what, what they wanted to hear you say yeah. over. Everybody said something off Illmatic. So, hey, let's try something. Let's do that, man. Drop that, uh, that, that New York State of Mind, son. J. Cole, oh, Top 975, let's get it. Don't have me disgrace this. <laughs> hey. Henny and Coke. Henny and Coke, don't do me like that. Straight out the dungeons of rap. Fake niggas don't make it back. Hey. Hey. Uh, gossip from those that barely knew my name I guess they figure I changed with this newfound fame Or this new damn chain I'm in a new damn lane Now my money taller than Shaq Stacked with two yeah mains But never mind them haters girl I won't bring you round lames Rather bring you round hoes Let you meet Brian James Sit you up in VIP and let you sip champagne Watch some jealous hoes peeking Man they just can't hang If that's the issue you went to This life is funny Cause despite the money Nothing stops the rain For poor in life ain't always bright and sunny Nothing stops the pain you just just ignore it and keep fighting, honey. So much drive, ain't no cop allowed can take my license from me. I'm swerving on them. Fast lane, fast now lifestyle. Foot down on the gas, man. Passport's tight now. I'm leaving on the last plane. Barley was my first love, so you can't have my last name. Oh! <laughs> I say Barley was my first love, so you can't have my last name. There oh. it is, man. There it is. Jake, oh, ladies and oh, gentlemen. Man. I'm surprised hey, man, tonight, I made it through that one. Performing live all the way over at Hayes. Uh, hey, yes. Now, now I know Vegas is a little different sometimes. You know the, the sets are a little bit sharp. Are you gonna do like like a regular show? Nah, I, I thought I was until yesterday. They told me like I'm I'm really hosting a party, right. and doing like three or four songs. So, there but, it is. but we'll still have a lot of fun. Y'all come out and party with me. Um, I'll make sure. I'm really supposed to do three. I'll try to sneak about four or five songs <laughs> in there. Sneak some in. Yeah, try to sneak some in, man. I got a lot of love for Vegas. I'm glad I could finally make it out. And the mixtape is out. Uh, Friday Night Lights. Go Friday Night that. Lights, man. I don't even know where our numbers is at. We so strong in the, in the downloads department. And thank you. I, you know what? I don't think a lot of people get thanked enough who put out free music. Oh, man. Thank, thank you, you for that. Yeah, nobody thanks. <laughs> thank you for, for all three of the mixtapes. Thank you very much, You know, man. I know the internet has kind of changed the way people have to do things. And, you know, Absolutely. I know you guys work hard on, on the music and to put it out for free. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I appreciate, I appreciate, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the thank you. Thank Most you definitely. for the thank Hey, you, why don't we get into um, a song on Friday Night Lights right now? You can finally hooked up with Drake. You know what I'm uh, saying? Ah, yeah. This is... A, In the morning. This is so crazy. The song is great. And the ladies love it, too. <laughs> the ladies love, love J. Cole, man. I just found this out. Oh, like, man. I knew, but... Man, they're on Twitter, we're blowing up all these females. I'll take it, man. Keep them coming. Let's get into it. Why don't you introduce that for us, man? Man, Vegas, I appreciate y'all. Ladies, I appreciate y'all. And even fellas, I feel like the fellas really rock with this song, too, because they can relate. Yes. But this is uh, J. Cole featuring Drizzy Drake in the morning. Hey, thank yeah. you for